Hello, it's Marissa, and welcome to my studio. Today is the final part of this step-by-step -step acrylic landscape demo. And if you're just joining in and want to follow along, I highly recommend that you watch parts 1 through 6. A supply list is in the description below, and an image can be downloaded from my website. Today is part 7. This is the last stage, and in this stage, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the foreground. We want to make it warm, and we want to make it lush and full. So we're going to work on the foreground, and then we're going to touch the overall painting. We're going to add highlights, and we're going to add glazes, and we'll finally finish it off by signing it. So, are you ready to finish the painting? Come join me and let's do it! So I just made an equal amount of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna to make a black and then I added raw sienna to make a dark green and then I added a little bit of cadmium yellow with the black to make a warm yellow green. From here I'm going to add a little bit more cadmium yellow to make a light green to add to our foliage. I'm gonna add gel, regular gel, so I can double the amount so I don't have to mix my paint too much. Then we're gonna paint. Birch bark, depending on the variety, has many different colors. For this particular um, painting, I'm going to mix Titan Buff with Conacono Magenta to make a warm pink. Birch trees actually have so many different colors and depending again on the variety, you could have anywhere between you know light yellows to light pinks. So for this particular uh, tree I'm going to make a warm pink and I'm even gonna put it on the maple tree behind this birch tree uh, you can also add some purples add some blues and, uh, and then go into some of the blacks as well indicate uh, some of the uh, the age of the tree and don't be afraid 
don't be afraid to go back and forth with your colors um, we can always let it dry and paint another color on top if you don't like it or while it's still wet you can remove it uh, with a brush and water so enjoy painting and I'll chat with you in a little while I'm using my palette knife to create texture on the leaves and I'm applying it quickly with just a quick dab and not manipulating the palette knife too much. And uh, this is the uh, light yellow green that we mixed earlier. I like uh, to put um, texture by using the palette knife because it allows me to just put the color down and not have to manipulate it too much. I'm making a deep orange by mixing two cadmiums, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. 
they give you a really rich um, orange and I like to put that in the maple leaves so that I can show some perspective they are closer to the viewer and then the cooler colors are behind after this I am going to mix in naphtal red uh, naphtal red light which for me is the closest to vermilion which is a beautiful orange as well and very pure very rich and I'd like to mix it with more yellow so that I can lighten some of the oranges I'm going to be glazing ultramarine blue to the britches. I would like to um, emphasize some shadow in the birch trunk, birch tree trunk. And so I would like to indicate that with a little bit of ultramarine blue. And if it's a little bit strong, again, you could go on top of it with a glaze of gray on top of the blue and it'll just look wonderful. Right now, I'm looking at the painting. It's almost finished, and I'm so excited. So what I, what's happening right now is I'm touching almost the whole painting and lightening areas that need to be emphasized. I thoroughly am enjoying this part because highlights are um, just brightening the whole painting and making things sparkle. So right now, I think I can finally say, after touching the whole painting, adding the highlights, 
and enjoying every moment, I feel that the painting is now complete. Yay! I've entitled this painting, Listen, and the size of the painting is a 16 by 16 inches. Feel free to write your comments below, and if you know of someone who may want to learn from these techniques, please share. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and ring that bell to get notified. This is Marissa Sweet. Thank you for joining me. Take care and sweet out.